We live a sailor gypsy life where we sail through heavy seas. We dive in places where no one has ever dove before, looking for incredible marine species. We laugh, sing, play games, and create delicious meals together. We make love to life and take full advantage of every experience we can get. But the sea was angry this day, and we are at the mercy of Mother Nature's wrath. We must pull together as a family and power through this storm. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface. And see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. As a golden sunrise appears, we slowly make our way to this warm tropical island on the Great Barrier Reef. We grab a mooring and take in the glittering white beaches of Lady Elia Island. We heard there was a wreck to discover, so we jumped straight into the water to see what was below us. How was the dive? Tell me about it. Amazing. Yeah, cool. We, we started on that one, two, third boy that way, which is a wreck, like a yacht that's gone down looks like maybe 10 years ago or something, maybe longer. The lower head, yeah. green turtle, Yeah. yeah. That's lots of there. fish. Followed the current back this way and what did we see? We saw sharks, white tips, um, big stingrays, more turtles. We had a really close up encounter with a turtle. Insert clip here. <laughs> That was really cool. Nice. Good day. Good day. We're here on Lady Ellie Island, and I've been looking forward to this place ever since I heard about it last season when I was in the Solomon Islands. This news came out about this pink manta ray uh, called Inspector Cluso, named after the uh, Pink Panther detective. And I was like, man, I want to see that. They've only seen it apparently 10 times in the last 10 years, but 
it's a frequent visitor and I'm just hoping that you know maybe we're lucky enough to see that but even if not um, it's supposed to be amazing diving uh, the shelf drops off right away so you can find kind of uh, deep water we're on the most southern island in the Great Barrier Reef so it actually is kind of like a stop-off po um, point for all migratory species including mantas and spotted eagle rays and turtles and everything comes by here and it's what the one stop before they head south or north so uh, we are actually just a little bit early we're here before manta season so likeliness of seeing a manta maybe not the best but you never know so anyway my plan here is to go scuba diving dive 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 every single day until I can't no more so here we go the pink manta ray found on the southernmost island of Australia's Great Barrier Reef on an island known as Lady Elliot. Named after Inspector Clouseau, the detective on the Pink Panther movies. This mysterious pink fish who cruises the waters around Lady Elliot Island is the only known pink manta ray in the world. First spotted in 2015, Inspector Clouseau has been seen fewer than 10 times since. The three meter wide ray is suspected to have developed its pink coloring due to a genetic mutation in its skin pigments. Most reef manta rays are black and white and have some spots. Even though we weren't lucky enough to see the pink manta ray, I live for this kind of stuff. Just the chance of seeing something so rare in the ocean. Nature has always surprised me with this incredible beauty and rare species that are still being discovered. Okay, what are you making for, for dinner last night? Uh, we are going to use we are gonna make, uh, pork. Yeah. Vegan purple. Yeah. Yeah. With jackfruit, yeah. Uh, we put the uh, we left marinating. With, with barbecue the, sauce? Yes. Uh, now we're gonna chop onion onions. We have to use onions because uh, someone <laughs> bought so many onions. I was just scared of running out of onions. So, <laughs> they last they last so, forever. Look in the lunch we use three no four onions for lunch and now another two. Good job, good job That's team. I like I like the way you are doing it. Onions for today. See all the naughty things fish have been doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's green the table. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh look at this. A lot of Oh look at my llama. Yeah. A lot of different Milama. fish and coral have like crazy different colors um, that you cannot see with your eye. So we're hoping that we can capture so, oh look at this blonde. Yeah, oh, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, yeah you are you are yes. super blonde. Yeah. You, your hair is green yeah, actually. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So a little bit of a different, <laughs> different mission today. Yeah. Let's go check it.
happen now? Why are we rolling? We're okay. We got 20, 24 knots. And the current pushes us one way, and the the rollers come in from the wind from another way. And so they're catching us just on our side, and we are just rolling, which I don't mind. It's all good. Like, I just want to be here so bad that I'm like willing to just like pretend it's not happening. I know. I want to keep diving. But uh, we'll see. We're just going to last here until we get annoyed and then bail. That sound is the compressors. It's been going all day. Those are my favorite kind of days. <laughs> all good. Yeah, we've been like diving our asses off for the last four days. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm happy as a plan. Wow. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah. The last few days have been nothing but diving, cooking amazing food, swimming, and more diving. And that's exactly how we like it. Soaking up the sun and all the ocean time that we can get. The more time I get underwater, the happier I am. Most of the time our lives are full of adventure and excitement, but other times Mother Nature has a different plan for us. As much as we'd like to stay and keep diving, Predict Wind's weather forecast says there's 40 knots heading right at us, which means the swell is going to take over our anchorage, so we need to head out quick onto our next journey. The swell, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see a little bit like it's building up. And Sylvia is rolling. dinghy is flat. Not sure what's going on there. Um, it's just been jostling so hard. And then our line on our small dinghy, um, the one that winches it up, snapped. So we are dragging it. And we're seeing, oh, I don't know, two, two and a half meter seas and 32 knot wind gusts when it was supposed to be about 24 sustained. Anyway, um, huge seas, and uh, it's quite the uh, quite the sail. We have very little sail out. We're just slow rolling it, um, trying to head to our closest port, which is Bundaberg, actually. And um, yeah, I'm just a little bit. Yeah, it's just frustrating. Things break. That's the high that's sailing. Nothing serious. It's not people or anything. Nobody's hurt. Uh, but the boat is thrashed, and um, I'm exhausted, so tired, and the whole crew is. And I wish I could record these seas for you because they're monsters. In fact, I would say that Sylvia punched into the biggest wave I've ever heard her punch into. I was down in my room, and all of a sudden you just heard, boom, and the whole, you just heard the wave come over the top of Sylvia, so. Ooh. It's, um, it's not over yet either. So, um, there's quite a ways to go to Bundaberg, and uh, hopefully we're able to get into that port because the waves could be just crashing around there too, so we'll see. Let's see the direction of the wind and everything and uh, let's see how it goes. It yeah. just
hectic, hectic night sail, but we'll see how this goes. Next time on Expedition Drench, after one of the most challenging sails yet, we sail to one of the most incredible wreck dives with the longest swim through in the world, and our mission to repair Sylvia from the damage that's been done from the storm. Oh man. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, it looks serious, my shots. Ah, I saw that. I almost didn't see it. What do you think about food fetish? Do you like feet? That's the way. That, that's the way. Yeah, perfect. Ten points. Maybe if you turn it around, it would be better. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, yes. <laughs>